so the second part is now you the at the first step you try to balance the group you try to balance the effect of the intervention means it no selection bias at the end also there is a possibility of error that is it is not possible always that whatever we planned we are able to succeed that because we are treating with the patients not the common people okay so if you are treating with the patient let one patient is severe you are giving an intervention a at the same time its condition become worse and they want some another medicine are you going to not give the another medicine no no this is the part of my study i cannot do that is it not possible okay it's not ethically also possible so we are treating we are we are means conducting a study on the human and the overall goal is to improve the quality of the human it's not the treatment okay so it is never possible that whatever we plan we end up with the same thing there is a possibility that whatever we plan we break that and give some another intervention or there is a error also possible like we plan to give intervention a to patient a but by mistake because only there it's not only one person involved in that study okay there are so many people involved so you decided that okay you are going to receive a you pass this information to person b and person b pass this information to person c and uh, sister who is going to give the intervention they they just miss that and give intervention b at the place of a this is also possibility okay so protocol is violated whatever the protocol you define that is violated so the researcher says here our in randomized control trial our primary goal is to follow the protocol whatever it is it is right you make any error or not you are strict to follow the protocol and that is the beauty okay so if you are strict to follow the protocol even at the place of a if someone will receive intervention b there is a protocol violation we are not consider that whatever if you are in group a you will be in the group a if you are in group b you will be in the group b and at the at the end we will compare the effect outcome measures between them that is called intention to treat okay we are not going to do any changes on the groups allocated group that is called the intention to treat but it's also debateful like if if there are more violation then that is going to change your result okay because in in first step you consider that the error is a natural process and whatever the error possible today that is also error possible in future so what is the robust result on that concept the intention to treat work but what is the true effect so true effect to know the true effect of the intervention okay researcher says okay intention to treat is fine but what if will where the protocol violation done you just remove that that is called per protocol analysis and what 90% people think about the intention to treat and per protocol is analyze all the data that is called intention to treat no violation of the protocol that is the main term here if the violation of the protocol don't include in the analysis is not the analyze all the data and uh, uh, if there is last to follow up uh, remove them and analyze that it's not like that okay if there is a violation of protocol then remove if you remove the violation of protocol participant then that is the per protocol if not then that is the intention to treat clear